Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Today we are going to discuss about this case. This is a case of malignant glaucoma. Anterior chamber is flat. The patient has undergone cataract surgery, SICS elsewhere, and the patient has come with very high intraocular pressure, flat anterior chamber, and the iris is plastered to the back surface of the cornea. I have taken up this case for surgery. My plan is to do anterior vitrectomy through pars plana root and do a genu low hyaloido aridectomy. At this moment, I am doing anterior vitrectomy. I have, plas I have placed a trocker at around 10 o'clock, about 3 millimeter away from the limbus. Irrigation is from the limbus and the cutter is being used from the, through the pars plana root. After doing some vitrectomy, I go behind the iris at 4 o'clock cut the iris. If I do aridectomy, it means I have cut anterior hyaloid membrane, few genules and then I do aridectomy. So, a communication is developed between the anterior chamber and the anterior vitreous. Now, I inject visco form the anterior chamber and now I use a Sinsky hook to pull the iris towards the center, separate the iris all around. Before that I inject some more visco, take the hook and gently pull the iris towards the center and this is the iris is being separated from the cornea actually. Till now the iris was plastered to the back surface of the cornea. Now I inject air and I, this is formation of the, this is closure of the side port. And now I remove the trocker. And do some muscles over the sclerotomy area, keep it pressed for some time and the case is concluded. And now after 5 days, AC formed only at 1 quadrant. It formed uh, from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So, th today I went through the anterior route and did uh, aridectomy at 2 o'clock. And then I used IA mode, irrigation and aspiration mode. form the anterior chamber nicely the anterior chamber became deep all around 
Malignant glaucoma is a surgical condition when the iris is firmly opposed to the back surface of the cornea and if the anterior synechia develops unless we separate the synechia unless we separate the iris from the cornea manually the eye is going to be lost so we have to do surgical intervention in such cases so after two surgeries let us see the post op pictures with uh, systemic steroid and topical steroid the congestion has cleared off there is no corneal edema intraocular pressure is normal about 16 mm of mercury and the patient is able to see now vision is about 6 by 24 thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and it will inspire you to take up challenging cases